So, welcome to another episode of Whale Season. Right before we get into today's episode, let's just go ahead and do a quick recap of what we talked about in episode one. Now, this episode is called The Big Opportunity. Very ominous and scary sounding. You see, at my education company, Gradiency, I have taught my members to be apex predators. Over the last few years, we have been sleek, stealthy, and streamlined. Most of our protocols went against common convention, but now the market has caught up to us. Now, you might be wondering, okay, when I pick my service and I pick my niche, how do I actually deliver those services? And here's a little secret. You don't have to. Now, Building an agency in 2021, that is truly your golden ticket. Well, wasn't that a blast from the past, even though that was just yesterday. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you go ahead and watch it as well as join the Telegram group, because that's where I will be announcing the giveaway winners for the Gadgie blue light blockers, the three pairs per day that I'm giving away, as well as the free mentorship call. Anyways, now that all of that is sorted today, we are going to get into a very tactical, very tangible video. Now, I don't want to, you know, I really didn't want to bore you with a two, three hour training because I've, I've done those before, trust me. And, you know, your attention can kind of start to slip here and there. So I really wanted to keep this engaging, interesting, a little bit shorter. I think this will probably be like, you know, 30 or 40 minutes um, and give you a lot of really heavy, punchy stuff in plug and play. So at the end of today's episode, I'm actually going to be giving you guys an agency black box, and that's going to have three plug and plays step by step how to become an agency owner in 60 minutes. I'm going to show you how to actually get your first ads up. I'm actually going to show you guys how to find a media buyer step by step guide, as well as how to actually sign your first client. And that's going to be all in the agency black box that you get at the end of this episode. Now, if you haven't watched episode one, quick little debrief as to who I am. My name is Iman Gadji and I started my agency at the ripe age of 16, working with actually my old football team. And I ended up charging them 380 pounds a month. In fact, I didn't charge monthly because I thought that sounded like quite a lot of money. So I just charged them 95 pounds per week because I didn't want to do 100 pounds. Anyways, fast forward two years, and within the space of literally two years, I was clocking in $80,000 a month profit with my agency. I was working with some really cool clients, clients such as wearable tech company Oring. If that sounds familiar, well, it's kind of a, a bit of a cultish thing in the online entrepreneurship space, uh, but now it's starting to go more mass market. In fact, here's Kim Kardashian's story from just a few weeks ago. Now, of course, from, you know, helping brands like Aura Ring put a ring, a wearable ring on one of the biggest influencers on earth, having my social media marketing agency has helped me immensely. You know, I really don't care too much to go into my backstory or this or that. Like if, if you want to know more, you can uh, listen to you know one of the podcasts or interviews I've done with people. Um, but it's suffice to say that I didn't really have the, the best upbringing, just me and my mom, single mom, yada, 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 like it's a very common story. And you know, this is really the driving reason that I started working at such a young age. And I started looking for these opportunities. And as I said, once I found social media marketing, you know, kind of the rest is history. And you know, for me, at first, it was just kind of a necessity thing. Like I just didn't want government handouts anymore. You know, me and my mom, uh, between 2014, 2016, when things got really bad, uh, we were on government benefits, which is kind of the British version of uh, welfare in America. So I really didn't have massive, massive wild dreams and aspirations. I just wanted to make sure that me and my mom were secure and we were safe. And not in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that fast forward five years that I'd be sitting in Dubai in a quarter million dollar a year apartment. Uh, my mom flying in a beautiful first class suite. Uh, in a couple of days, I actually just moved here from London and I got my mom a place in the same building. So she's actually going to be living, I think, 10 or 15 floors above me. And I got her a beautiful place out here for six months, I've been able to shower her with every sort of gift you can imagine from a Patek Philippe Nautilus to a Rolex Daytona, all the way to a $20,000, $30,000 outfit between her bag, shoes, clothes, this, that, uh, and most importantly, retiring her. And all of this was possible because of my digital marketing agency. Everything that I have in my life, I owe it to having an agency. Now, I know that for some of you guys, your ears didn't prick up until you heard that, you know, um, buy Rolexes right, left and center. I, you know, very calmly have a $150,000 watch on my wrist. Uh, I have a couple of Richard Mills. I live a very fancy and upscale life. I know that for some of you guys, you're like, okay, you know, sit up in my chair. Now I'm interested. And that's okay. Because let me let you in on a little secret. My agency, I work maybe two, three hours a week. And it pulls in at the moment anywhere from a hundred to $150,000. Now, 
bear in mind, that's not the goal of this whale season. This whale season is to get you to $10,000 a month because for me, that was the most transformative period of my life. When I got to $10,000 a month, everything in my life changed, okay? But the reason I say that is because this is, you know, if you wanna make a decent living, I've never seen anything out there like this that can get you to that destination. And you don't necessarily need to be in love or passionate with it, okay? You just put a couple systems in place, okay? Really all a business is, is you put some, you put some cogs in place and then you let the machine do its thing. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that over the space of today's training as well. It's gonna be very, very uh, sort of action packed and tactical as well as the rest of this whale season because not only do you have access to me, you have access to my team next week in the exclusive Q and A calls that we're doing. As I said, I wanted to make this whale season an event, not just something you sit and watch a couple of videos. Like the whole, the entire industry has come together. It's an event, it's community. It's like-minded people just like you. And, it, and it's access to not just myself, but my team at my own agency, IG Media to make sure that you have all the tools necessary to win in this game. So whether your dreams and aspiration is within two years to be, uh, you know, driving a, uh, a Rolls Royce Cullinan or whether, you know, similar to me, you started this business just because you have a loved one that you need to take care of. Whatever it is, all I can say is please be present to this because while I create, and you know, in fact, the whole reason I created this wheel season is because I wanted an event, a free event, that my 16 year old self could have had where, as I said, it's not just one video and I'm like, oh, that was cool. You know, I have a little bit of motivation. It's like, no, it's for two weeks. You're immersed in this thing and you have every single resource and tool thrown at you. So that way you can win. I made this event for my 16 year old self. So to the 16 year old E-Man, all I can say is listen up, dude, because these next two weeks are gonna be very, very powerful. Now let's get started with the meat of this presentation how to start a social media marketing agency in 60 minutes or less. Now, by the end of this presentation, I want you to be able to confidently say, I own a digital marketing agency, or at the very least, know that you could. Now we'll be covering a few different things here, going through the very basics of an agency, how to set up your business, your website, and what to do next. But first, let's ask the very basic question, what is an agency? Now let's go back to the beginning of my story when I told you that I signed my first client. It was a football club. Now I was tasked with managing their social media accounts and shortly afterwards, I started trading as IG Media, the name that I still use in my business today. Now, of course, this didn't make me an agency or a business, either technically or in a legal sense. Instead, I was basically a freelancer, a contractor, a one-man band, you could say. What do I mean by this? Well, let's look at the difference of what a freelancer is and what an agency is. Now it kind of looks like this. A freelancer or a contractor is the one that creates or actually does the work. Now when a business hires a freelancer, they take on the responsibility for their work. They hire them for a specific task and are responsible for communicating with them, managing them and making sure they complete a task. An agency on the other hand though, they are the ones that curate the work or more specifically, they hire people to do it for them. And when a business hires an agency, they do it to guarantee a certain standard of work. They do it to streamline the entire operation. Now, I'll use an example here and hopefully this kind of makes sense. It's kind of like going to a hospital for an operation on your leg. Now you could technically go ahead and find and hire a surgeon. You could rent an operating room, hire an anesthetist, a nurse, rent equipment, buy a gauze, knives, and antibiotics, and then a separate team to look after you whilst you recover. You, know, you could technically compile you know, all those different pieces, or you could go to a hospital and they do all of that for you and just present you with a bill at the end. So although I called myself an agency when I first started, the truth is I didn't become one until I hired my first contractor. Now that you know the difference between being a contractor and being an agency, and I'll get into how to actually go from being a contractor to an agency in just a short while. Now let's actually get into becoming an agency owner. And the best place to start with this is naming conventions. What are you actually gonna call your agency? Luckily, this is an incredibly easy process. Unlike things like Uber, or PayPal, Tesla, most agencies have a very sort of uh, bog standard and just straight to the point name. If I were to tell you that one of the largest agencies on earth is called WPP Group, not only would you probably not believe me, you most certainly have never heard of them before. Then there's other giants like JWT, uh, AKQA, uh, Dentsu, kind of the list goes on and on, but you get my point here. Names tend to be boring. Let's use my agency name, for example, IG Media. It's very boring, straight to the point, 
In fact, it doesn't actually really even make sense anymore because for the first year, year and a half, I was a creative agency, right? That's what I did for a lot of my early clients. These days, we only do advertising. So IG Media, you know, it's my initials, doesn't even technically make sense. And the, the, you know, the great thing is it doesn't need to make sense because your name is very, very irrelevant when it comes to having an agency. Now, inside of my education company, Gray Agency, we have names such as Aries, JFP, Walker Digital Solutions. You know, these names really don't have to be revolutionary, but there's two uh, inside of GYA that I'm actually quite fond of. One is called Lead Jolt, and as you would guess it, it offers lead generation. And the next is called Take Over My Social. No real prizes for this, as you can assume, they manage your social media. But my preference will always be for simple anonymous names. And if you're really struggling, you can always just use your initials and tack on advertising or, and you know, in my case, media uh, or uh, digital, whatever you want. Now it's time for something a little bit more serious. And let's talk about your legal entity. Now, before I say anything, I want to stress that while I know a decent amount about businesses in the country I grew up in, I'm not an expert everywhere else. So always consult your local government website for more information. But here's a pretty good overview of the system that most countries operate. There are two options if you want to start a business. The first is to become a sole trader. And the good news for this is that it's incredibly simple to become one. You just say you are, okay? You can even trade under a different name. Now, for the first years I owned my agency, I actually operated as a sole trader. IG Media wasn't incorporated legally, but I still signed contractors, hired contractors, and got paid. Now, eventually, though, when it made sense, I incorporated my business. Now, I did this to benefit from various tax arrangements and to separate out my finances. Now, registering as a business is easy and you can always do it online. However, you do have responsibilities as a business owner, like submitting accounts and paying taxes. But the point of this slide isn't that you should register as a business. It's that if you want to start calling yourself by a business name and start trading and signing clients, there is literally nothing stopping you. OK, you just decide today. OK, I'm a business. I'm operating under this name and you just make sure that you keep your receipts and you keep any invoices that you send clients and you can always go back later and retroactively, you know, uh, uh, refile things. Like, like people get so scared when it comes to tax and accounting and this and that. Ladies and gentlemen, when you are proactively trying to give the government money, as long as you have good intentions and, and you know, you keep your receipts and you keep your invoices that you send clients, you know, you can even go back two years and be like, oh, there's a little mistake here. I actually need to pay this much more. I actually, need, you know, paid too much. Like there's always things that you can do. So just understand as a sole trader, I got to a point where I, my highest month with my agency was $35,000 as a sole trader. So, you know, really don't stress about these things. Now let's talk about your service. Now in my five years of running an agency, I have offered everything from social media management to content creation, and then eventually advertising. But we have thousands of students making anywhere from 10 to 100K a month offering services like web design, graphic design, uh, paid traffic, uh, funnel creation, um, IP protection, uh, email marketing, SEO. Uh, I mean, you name it. And we have people in the education company making a killing off it. Now, at this point, I know what you're thinking, but Eman, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. And we'll get into that in just a second. Now, there may also be some of you guys who are like, oh, you know, I've put up a Facebook ad before or, you know, I've done a bit of social media uh, uh, growth on Instagram. So I kind of know how to do this stuff. So that also gives you a little bit of an edge in terms of just understanding the service. And that's where what I said earlier comes into play, because when I first started offering Facebook ads to my clients, I had no idea how to do it. OK, I actually ended up hiring a contractor and that contractor three years later still works for me and is actually the CMO at my agency. And, and the beauty of it was that he was able to get incredible results. The, our arrangement was, was a very simple one. He would charge me six hundred dollars per month per client. I would give him three or four clients. Now, I would charge those same clients twenty five hundred dollars a month, thirty five hundred dollars a month you know, even $6,000 a month. In fact, the last client that we had before he ended up coming on full time, I was charging over $10,000 a month to and he was charging me $600 per month per client. And, and as I said, that's the beauty of it. You can either have, you know, you can either live your laptop lifestyle and have a contractor who, you know, and by the way, don't expect to be signing $10,000 a month clients, you know, from the get go. But but just understand if you even have a contractor who's charging you $600 per month per client, and you're charging the client $1,500 a month, you know, all you need is four of those clients and you're personally pocketing after expenses and everything like that. You're personally putting in $3,600 a month in your pocket. 
okay? And now you can go do whatever you want. You can, you know, you can live your laptop lifestyle, this, that, or if you want to take it to the levels that I've taken it and some of the people at Greency have taken it, where where you first start off with contractors, then you get to a point where you're making 20, 30,000 a month and you bring them on full time and then they grow with the company exactly like my CMO did. And then you end up building a machine that's making you, you know, one and a half million dollars per year. You can do that as well. Like you have the options. So as I said, this is the beauty of the model. And I'm really going to demonstrate how simple this is. Now, this is an email I got from a client recently. They were asking me if our agency wanted to design their new website. Interestingly, we actually turned this one down because it's not our area of expertise. And we have a partnership with another agency who specializes in this. But you know, let's say hypothetically, we wanted to do this job. Here's exactly how I would have done it. So as you can see on screen right now, you can find web design contractors on Fiverr or Upwork who are willing to do this for $500. In fact, you can find people for $150, $200. But let's say for $500, you can find someone very, very good. So you are getting paid $3,000 for this project and you are outsourcing it for $500. But in the same way, I could technically go find a chauffeur. In fact, you know, so many times I've been given numbers and cards of different chauffeurs and this and that. But why do I keep coming back to Uber? The reason I keep coming back to Uber is because of the experience. And that is really what you need to focus on as an agency and really what people come to you as an agency for. It's because you and especially all of the training that you're getting in whale season in this incredible two week event. I mean, you've got four episodes in the first week, then you've got two bonus episodes in the second one, as well as all these Q and A's. What this is doing for you is this is putting you the status of an agency rather than a contractor. And this is why businesses would rather come to you because they know that they are going to get a professional experience. And that is really their number one focus and goal. Now, look, that was a very specific example. And if I'm being honest, I'm not super fond of web design because, you know, it's a one off service and there's no recurring revenue monthly. Instead, I prefer services like paid traffic, social media management, SEO, email marketing, because they produce monthly cash flow for you. As I said, when I first started, all I did was, you know, manage uh, Instagram and Facebook accounts and really grow those platforms and create content for brands. Then I transitioned to advertising. So what we do at my agency is we run Facebook ads, Google ads, a couple other platforms for primarily uh, e-commerce brands. Now, this is a little bit more of a difficult service to offer because it's a results driven one. But then again, it doesn't matter because you are going to hire an incredible contractor who, by the way, you will never refer to as a contractor. And we've already kind of talked about this in the last episode. They are just simply a member of your team. And as I said, the beauty of that is that it's results driven because at the end of each month, you're going to be able to show very clearly to your clients through tracking, either through the amount of leads and the amount of estimated revenue that that would have brought in. And, you know, I'll show you guys how to run through all of that pricing. In fact, um, the next episode is actually how to price your services. And I'm going to show you uh, using just science data. And, and because I can show them this amount that I brought them in at the end of the month, this means I can charge higher rates. You know, I have people, you know, kind of scratching their head going, you know, how does your agency pull in, you know, 150, 200,000 a month? And, you know, for you personally, Paul gets 150. Um, well, think about it, you know, between all of our clients per month, we're probably bringing in, um, I said, it, it depends, you know, obviously some clients come, some clients go, you know, obviously some clients will stay for nine months and then go. And, you know, maybe we might've been spending more money with them, but on any given month, anywhere between three to $5 million uh, is what we'll be bringing in for our clients. So, you know, if you're making your clients three to $5 million, it kind of makes sense that, you know, you take a little sliver of that, but let's use something, you know, even more realistic. Let's say you're bringing in your clients, you know, $50,000 a month in revenue for, for a business. You know, does this sound realistic that you take 2000 or 2,500 a month? Well, okay. Now you get four of those clients. You're making six figures a year. The thing that you guys really need to get through your head is you, in your mind, you're thinking a civilian money, you know, you're thinking 2,500 or 1,500 or 3,500, you know, this is a lot of civilian money, but you need to understand as a business, you know, even for me, like, 10,000 to me personally, you know, I think about, it, I'm like, okay, do I really want to make this purchase? Is it a smart purchase? 10,000 in the business? I don't need, need to think twice because to me, it's a business expense. You know, uh, it's pre-tax. I even get tax, you know, my, my actual tax bill goes down because of it. So you need to understand the way that these business owners think. You know, the service you offer is truly down to you, but I personally recommend paid traffic because there's so many skilled contractors out there. That's number one. And number two, because it's a results driven service. Now, as I said, at the end of this video, there is actually going to be a download link. And what that's going to actually allow you to do is download three massive plug and plays. You know, I think there are something like 20 pages, 25 pages of uh, step by step, you know, click here, click there, uh, step by step training in those plug and plays. And as I said, I bundle that all up into a free agency black box that I'm giving you. So if you're confused, you know, how do I actually find a media buyer that's that, you know, I could spend an hour, you know, talking about it in this video. But as I said, this whale season, 
I don't want you to be bored. Like I want you, I don't want you to even bother flicking on your Netflix because I want to be providing you with so much entertainment uh, through this content that you don't really even see a purpose. So anyways, I said that uh, plug and play will be inside of the agency black box. So now you have a name and you know the service you're going to offer. It's time to create your brand. Now, on the right side is a screenshot of my agency website. Now, at this point, I'll admit that if you'd actually typed IG Media into your address bar, even, you know, 18 months ago, you would have found a clunky old website without much information at all. Now, <laughs> I kind of took like a weird pride in how bad our, our website was because it showed how unnecessary it is to sign clients. But still, I ended up paying for a new one to be designed. But listen, don't think that you have to do this. Instead, you need to focus on getting a website up, a domain and an email too. So let's get started with those two first. Now on the left, you can see an example of a name for your agency, specifically one which helps pet companies. Now this exact domain is available on Google domains for just 10 pounds a year. Now when you go to checkout, you can pay an extra four pounds 60 a month to get an email address and a Google drive with that domain. Now that means that today you could pay less than 15 pounds and have an official domain and email address associated to your agency. Now let's sort out your website. Now my own website is hosted on something called ClickFunnels and in the plug and play that you're gonna get in that agency black box, I'm actually gonna leave a link that gets you a 14 day free trial with ClickFunnels as well as one website template. So you can literally take that, you know, uh, you press one button and it goes straight into your ClickFunnels. So there you go, that's my little gift to you. You don't even need to worry about creating an agency website because I'm actually just giving you with one click. As I said, both the link to the 14 day free trial as well as a link to just literally steal that website template. Both of those are available in the plug and play. Alternatively, you could use a website builder like Wix. Now they have a whole host of free templates that you don't need to change at all. Just insert your logo, some quick text about who you are and the services you do. And you can get these websites live in a relatively short amount of time. Obviously it takes a little bit more work than uh, the template I'm gonna give you because that really is just plug and play and, and just go. Um, you know, with these, you'll have to change a lot of things around etc etc but it's you know it's really just whichever one works best for you so now you know what an agency is you have your agency name you know what service you're going to offer you know how to find a contractor and offer that service you have a website and an email address what's next well this right here is the workflow of every agency after you've started next you need to find a client of course we'll be covering this in the next episode in whale season then it's time to get paid Remember, you always get paid before you do the work. Then you deliver the service to your clients and well, you keep going. You keep getting results for your clients, they keep paying you and you keep finding more clients. Now, if you stick to this business model, there's no reason you can't sign five, 10 or even 20 clients in a year. And even if you only charge a client $1,000, which that's like the lowest of the low that we ever charge in this industry. This is a dramatic amount of money for you to be making as a new business owner in profit. So in the next episode, I believe I'm going to be showing you how to actually find clients, you know, how to find source clients that you can charge five, 10, $15,000 a month to, you know, the real whale clients, not to say that you'll sign them, you know, because you're just in your early starting days, but you know, even how to find and reach out to $1,500, $2,500 a month clients. I'm going to be showing you guys in the next episode. And then in the episode after that, I'm actually going to show you how to price your services and how do we actually present the price and how do we actually warrant the price to these clients. But apart from that, because I know that you are drooling over and you want to get more information, as I've actually gone ahead and compiled a massive plug and play on how to actually sign your first client. And that'll be in the agency black box too. So ladies and gentlemen, the action step for today is download the whale season black box. And I'm either going to leave that as a button like sort of below this video that will actually let you download it straight from there or I'll pop something up on screen like an exclusive link that just type that into your URL so that way I know that you actually you know went through the training and it's it's worth it for you to get the black box um, so as I said download the whale season black box and the instructions will kind of be on screen right now and this includes how to find a media buyer plug and play how to sign your first client plug and play as well as how to start an agency in 60 minutes plug and play then, and this is very, very important, I want you to comment below why you believe the agency business model is the best model in 2021 and comment that down in the comment section. And this is how you'll be drawn into the daily giveaway. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, every single day, I'm giving away three pairs of these $120 blue light blockers from my e-commerce brand Gadgie. And the winners will be announced in the Telegram group. So make sure that you are in there. 
And apart from that, every single person that comments will also be entered in to win the free one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me personally. And I'll be announcing that at the end of whale season. And lastly, I'm sure you would have seen in the thank you page when you register for whale season, we have another giveaway where all you have to do is just post a photo of this episode of this whale season, or you post a photo of a whale from, uh, uh, you know, that you just get from Google. And you basically just mention, hey, I'm in loving whale season. You know, basically just, you know, spread the word that there's this event going on, et cetera, et cetera. We've got some insane prizes. As I said, you can post on your story every single day for 14 days, and I'm gonna be reposting all this stuff. You can, you know, you can tag me as many times as you want. And at the end of the event, we're gonna be giving away the brand new iPhone 13 Pro to one person, an iPad to another person, and then three other winners will get AirPods Pro. So that is a massive, massive giveaway. So ladies and gentlemen, as I said, every single episode, you get a chance to not only win a pair of Gadget blue light blockers, you also get a chance to win a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call with me at the end of the whale season. And then apart from that, you also get a chance to win either an iPhone 13 Pro, an iPad, or three pairs of AirPods Pro. And as I said, you can tag me every single day on your story. So that way I'm more likely to see it and you have an even greater chance of winning. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be reposting all this stuff anyways. By the way, there will be extra brownie points for the people who post sort of the most interesting stuff, you know, really just showing how incredible this whale season event actually is. So on that note, make sure you follow those action steps. It'll be down below as well. Hope you guys enjoy this episode and I'm very, very excited to speak to you guys in two days and present the next one.